welcome back to my channel um today i've got something really awesome to share with you i just got it in the mail yesterday and i'm just tickled pink over it um i've been looking to get something new um like this for a long time now and i decided i saw this over on ryan's channel disney pins blog and um i was like you know what that looks like something i could really enjoy and use so let me show you okay i picked up the new brand new uh shark tank and it is a pen binder look how large this is y'all look how big it is and how awesome it is I love it because I have a lot of pens. I bought this specifically for my Beauty and the Beast collection, which I have already put in there. I'm just so tickled. I have a GoPro uh, or from GoPro, a pen folio, the original one that has like the um, fabric sheets um, and it's like a little pen board, but um, it didn't show the holes or anything. I love that bag, but I was trying to share this collection and my Toy Story collection, which is growing out of control, both of them. And so I wanted a separate book to house nothing but my Beauty and the Beast collection. And I decided to go with the Shark Tank. And so y'all, I love it. Okay, so the book, before we get into the review and everything, it is from Kraken, Kraken, Kraken Trade. K-R-A-K-E-N trade i will put all the links below their instagram their uh the the site you can go to buy them and this particular one is the shark tank i do believe they have a smaller one that is called the guppy tank and also um uh, they had also uh, Marcy Mouse um, has one that is specifically for her, and it is the beautiful, uh, beautiful royal purple, and it's called the Royal Shark, T Shark Tank. So um, I think you can. Uh, Marcy Mouse has the links on her um, channel. I might try to find that and put that down below for you also if you want the purple. But also I got this just straight, and I ordered this. Oh my gosh, weeks and weeks ago. I pre-ordered this and it just came out you can see the glare from the window it's hitting the plastic on the front but um, I ordered it a couple of weeks ago or pre-ordered it and it's finally released and it finally came in so I'm so excited but um, and they call this burgundy but y'all this is not burgundy to me to me it is a gorgeous deep red if anybody's into football and you know what I mean by Georgia Bulldog Red. Um, it's kind of like that, even deeper. Um, but it is such a deep, gorgeous red, and I love it. Love it so much. So, um, but it's called Burgundy. This color is called Burgundy on their website. The the book is only $45, which is very reasonable. I love it. Shipping is a bit more costly, and I think it's so expensive because they have to ship it priority uh, because of the weight and the size. So at least, you know, you're getting a safe package when you do get it. Shipping is $15.40. So um, all of it together with shipping and the bag was $60.40. So, um, I just love it so far, y'all. I'm just so tickled pink over it. But you get a breakdown of um, all of your information on a piece of paper, on an invoice, or items, packing list, items detail, when you get it. Um, and it's just wonderful. It's got a place for you to email if you have any questions. So, y'all, again, uh, Kraken Trade if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but anyway, it also came in the box with a strap. Now, I'm not a big strap uh, person for my bags, but it's awesome to know that I have it in case I wanna use it. Like if I'm going somewhere, um, when I make it to a pen event eventually, um, I can actually put this on my shoulder and carry it in. So that's a great, um, item to have if you need it so it does come with a strap um it has this 
same material um that um the strap is made out of and it's a handle that's right here on the top very spacious and then you also have these these loops at the end for your strap so if you want to um put your strap on that's the way you do it and y'all the outside this material for you girls out there that have are familiar with the um with the Safa, safiano leather if i'm saying that right that's what this reminds me of um it is a soft uh, material and it's soft because it's puffy it actually has padding inside the red part and but the material feels like safiano leather you know what i'm talking about i know it's not leather but if you're familiar with that, that's exactly, it even has the little embossing in it, just like Safiano leather does. So, um, but anyway, it goes all the way around to the back. And, oh, it's just such a beautiful thing. And y'all, it's puffy back here too. So it's very padded back here on the back. So that I love. I love that softness that you feel when you touch it and um y'all i love it i love the red and the black you know how i love red and black together and this is such a deep beautiful red and um it has the zipper that goes all the way around so let's open it up and the zipper goes uh three sides and when you open it up um you can see it has a clear front window and it is that's why they call it the shark tank so that you can see through it and see you can put your prettiest pins up here and um you can entice people or if you have traders um you can just put your traders maybe on the front page and when you're trading with somebody you don't even have to open it you can just say hey do you see anything you want but i like it just for my collection so i've put my most gorgeous um uh, pins from beauty and the beast right here on the front and this is not a pin collection collection video or anything about my pins it's all about the bag but i wanted to show you how they are on here so when you open up the cover once you've unzipped it you will come to your first page there's nothing that you have to slide inside of or it's not a separate zip it's just the straight zip that's your cover and then you have the pages for your pins now these pages um i'm gonna put all the dimensions down below um i failed to take the measurements or check on that before i started the video but each of these pages um you get three pages in a book in the shark tank now i've never had another um i haven't had the guppy i don't i i I've never had the Royal Shark Tank, so I'm not real sure about the pages, but I would assume they'd be the same. But um, you can see it opens up and you have your first page. And I'll show you the page itself at the end because I don't have anything on the last page. But it comes in a binder like a school book would be. Um, like I use my books um, with my pages baseball card pages it's just a loop right there and i'll put the dimension of that loop also and then you have each hole is and let me see if i can put it closer for you to see okay each hole um is reinforced with um the metal circle there and it, it holds so it won't tear and um yeah it looks so awesome i want you to see and i'll show you on the on the last page because it's hard to do with these pins on but you flip it over and then each back of the page is another page so i personally even though there's three pages in here i consider the front and the side a separate page so if you consider that it's actually six surfaces that you can actually put pins on not just three so i have more pins but over here a little space left right in here and then each um in between each page is a divider a plastic divider that's a pocket so you can see um it has the little slidey thing and let me see if i can unslide it and show you do y'all remember like the uh pencil cases you carried in school and your notebooks and it just slid open and you just put your pens and pencils and stuff like that erasers well that's what this is i can't do it with one hand so let me put it down i want to show you because um there's something really neat and different about it and it's the fact that each side is 
divided. So like you have your um, divider, but right down the middle of the uh, page is a seam. And so each side of this pocket is completely different. So I'm gonna put my hand down this side. So you can see that side, that's as far as my thumb will go. And then you go to the other side and it's actually another pocket. So this is great for like card, backer cards, or if you wanna put some pin backs, or if you get people's business cards, which I tend to do, I have several pin books that I have just tons of business cards from, or you know, they're channel cards from everybody. But you have one of these plastic dividers, which is very functional in between each page. So here's my second page. And um, I've got more pens on it. You can see how much each page holds. It holds a lot of pens. And then I have used the back of my second page some. You can see there, I've used it some also. Now, here's another divider in between the second and the third page, just like I've shown you. And then lastly, I wanna show you the page itself. The page itself, look at this. I want you to see the, the thickness of this page. Can you see that? Can you see how thick that page is? And it's just really, really thick for a pen page. And um, I think that really helps ensure that you don't get, um, you don't meet each pen on each side with the back, uh, with the post. And so the, the best way for me to explain this material is very firm, but yet when you put your pens in there, you feel like you're pushing it through a cushion, but a very dense cushion, if that makes sense. Um, it's very dense, um, and I want, you know what I mean by dense. It's just really uh, dense and thick. Um, and but it doesn't feel like you're pushing it through cork or anything like that. It's a very soft feeling, and but you, when, as soon as you start pushing your pins in, you feel the tightness um, that your pins are going to be secure in there. And so, and that is the back of the other. And then you can see here there is a mesh netted type pocket on the back, and then you have all of the you know I put a bunch of backer cards in here, so the pocket pocket is so deep it's not going to fall out. So let me show you. Um, I've, I've seen Marcy Mouse do this and I've seen the, the folks from the company do this but I want to just show you um, the pins as far as how firm they are. The, the pages come out like this. So I want to show you how well and I'm going to take my um, this pin off because it opens the, the thing opens on it and it's just gonna be slapping back and forth. But I wanna show you how sturdy this thing is at holding your pins. Um, here we go. You hear the jingling? That's this pin that keeps coming open. That's This one comes open even easier, so that's why I took it off. But you can see, I'm gonna hold that and then shake this side. These pins are not coming out. I mean, it is so sturdy. And these pins right here, all this pin and this pin, I believe, are just a single post. And they have not moved an inch from how I put them in there. You can see, I'm gonna hold that one that opens and shuts. My ears are gonna come off, but my pins aren't gonna come off. You can see these have not moved a muscle or moved an inch. And let me tell y'all, I'm super impressed with that. I mean, to be able to sling around a binder or a page like this and have nothing come off, that's pretty impressive, I'm telling you. So, uh, right now, I'm a huge advocate of this pen book. Um, I wish, the only thing I wish is that it was a little bit larger, not height and length and all that, but depth so that we could put more than just three um, pages in there. Now you can buy the pages separately 
if you want to. If you have a binder that you bought at Walmart or somewhere like that and you want to convert it to one of these, you can just buy the pages. And I'm not sure of the price of the pages. Um, I can go to their website and check and maybe put that info down below. But you can buy the pages separately. But y'all, I'm just really impressed with this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I really like it. I like the stability of it. Um, I like how I know my pens are secure in this product and uh, yeah, I love it. So anyway, this is just an awesome, awesome book y'all. I'm very, very impressed and I love it. I love everything that it gives you. The price is crazy affordable and um, you know, I just, I just think it's a great product. It's a superior product and um, that's, that says a lot. So anyway, I just wanted to share my review of this. I'm just tickled pink over it right now. Um, I'm definitely tickled to have my uh, Beauty and the Beast collection, which I value very much. It has high, as you can see, it has high, high dollar pins in it. And I really am trusting this to take good care of it. And I feel very confident in doing so. So that's my review of the new Shark Tank. I really love it. And, um, you know, there might be another one in my future. Who knows? So definitely check these guys out. They, they're doing an awesome job with the bag and the binder. I call it a binder. Okay, guys, that's it. That's my review on the Shark Tank. So I love it. I'm a huge fan of it. And, um, be sure to check these guys out. I'll be putting all of the information below. And um, if you have any questions, you know, if I don't know, I'll find out for you, okay? So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you again soon. More videos coming up. Bye!